Greetings, everyone. I apologize for the quality of this video. I'm actually driving. I had to uh, take care of some things. It is two o'clock in the morning. Um, and what I have to say is so important. I couldn't wait. I, I couldn't make sure that all the quality was, you know, um, where most of you wanted at. And I'm gonna be real, it's a shame that these days a person can't even speak about network marketing without having a pool in the background or some type of green screen uh, going on. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, you know, I've never been about gimmicks. I've always been about realness. Those of you who have followed my channel for a while, those of you who um, have been paying attention to me on social media, who have actually I I interacted with me, you know that I am about the real. Sometimes the real goes wrong. Sometimes because I'm so honest and, and so truthful, um, other people in my industry don't want me talking. They don't want others to listen to what I have to say. They are afraid of me. I'm gonna be honest with you guys about that um, be, be, because what I'm saying threatens their income and the way they're getting it. But because of what so many of these guys have been doing in our industry for, for so long, our industry is now in real trouble, you guys. Real trouble. Let, 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 let me get to where you guys can, can sort of see me. There's some light here. Um, let, let me just pause for a moment. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen of the MLM industry, by the time you see this video, this will probably be viral, not my video, but what John Oliver said on HBO about our industry last night is going to be viral. It's it's already starting. I'm already seeing people jumping on it. For those of you who don't know, who, who don't watch his show, John Oliver is a comedian on HBO. He has a show called Last Week Tonight. I agree with most of what he said, but he's wrong. However, he has hashtag this is a pyramid scheme trending. And all week, you guys, get ready, especially if you're in the MLM industry. People are going to be tagging this. You know, as you post stuff, they're going to be throwing that tag, right? Because now he's riling up all of the non MLMers that watch HBO, all the people who have a horror story about, a, you know, you know, about something that happened to them in MLM. It all started with Herbalife. And what's going on with Herbalife has spilled over. And it happened to Vima. And there are so many other companies that, we're doing shady things and weren't looking out for the people in the field. And as a result, now our entire industry is coming under the microscope. This isn't what we wanted. Why? Because right now we're pretty much unregulated. That means anyone can get in, anyone can make money in this industry. What's about to happen is scrutiny. And it's all because many of you have not been listening. I founded Top Networkers Group in 2010 because I got tired of working with network marketers who are not educated about our industry. I mean, they have not read books like Wave 4, like, uh, you know, you know, the the uh, greatest networker in, in the, the, the world, uh, the, the rise of the new professionals. So many books on our industry that talked about the current age we're in right now with the internet making it impossible for more and more people to make money in their industry. But, but, but there's a problem. The problem is we have a lot of old school cats who are greedy. L please listen to me, greedy. It's a problem. Greed is corrupting the industry. And now again, like I said, we are about to be under huge scrutiny. Um, and I just hope you guys are paying attention because I'm telling you, if, if you're not, it's gonna creep up on you and we're gonna lose this way of making money. We're, we're not gonna be able to move business and to, to move products through this method. That's not what we want. Soon the only way to be a business person will be the traditional methods, which cuts out the majority of the people. Why? Because leaders won't endorse it. it, it and I'll just, I'll just break it down for you. The way this game works, Let's say you have someone who is respected in the industry and they're making money. If they say, don't listen to Al, guess what? You're not listening to Al. So, so now anything Al says is, ah, uh, that's some side guy talking. That's that guy that my leader told me don't, li don't, don't, don't even li listen to, 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 to him. And what happens 
is now, even if I'm making sense or, or, or even if I'm right, you're not going to listen because someone that you respect has said, ah, don't listen to Al, right? But then they tell you, go listen to this person and this person and that person. And all of those people are talking the same stuff that they're talking, right? And the idea is invest $500 to $600, right? Be on auto ship for $100 to $200 a month, right? And they push this because that's how they will make money. They tell you that you will make money the same way, but the problem is, again, you're not gonna have as many people with money as many of them have. Their contacts, their circle, their network has a little bit more money than yours does. So when they're asking their network for a certain investment, their network has it. Your network does not. So what do we do? Top Networkers Group 2010, I broke away from the cats I was working with because they didn't want to listen to what I was saying. I'm like, look, we can't keep asking people for this much money. We have to start taking advantage of what's in the industry. There's a $10 business here. Let's push that. Let's team up. Let's, let's help everyone get into that business. Why? Because everybody has $10. Everybody's got that. And we can then take the money we make here and invest into something else. But nope, don't listen to Al. See, now what's happening is companies are, are, are about to get really scrutinized, especially for these auto ships and these entry fees. And what's happening is, especially if you watch the special from John Oliver, he's showing clips of people who feel like they've gotten duped. Oh, you know, why was I buying all this product up front and not making money? Be, because that's not how you make money, folks. You, you have to sell a product. If you own a Nike store and you buy a bunch of shoes, you have to sell the shoes. You can't have the shoes sitting on your shelf. But this is what people do in network marketing and then they, they blame the company that they bought the shoes from. They say, ah, Nike's a scam, right? And all they needed is this moment for John Oliver to go on HBO and broadcast, this is a pyramid scheme, and now all the thoughtless people who don't understand the industry are about to get louder. Why? Because those of you who understand our industry have been quiet and greedy. You know I'm right. You know we can't keep dividing ourselves into 2,000, 5,000 companies. You know that we are weaker when we are divided. You know these companies aren't paying us enough money for it to be a respectable option for people. And you know the only way for us to demand that companies pay us more is if we stick together, if we take the power away from the companies. How? Topnetworkersgroup.com, the one MLM system.com. And I'm not plugging it just because it's the perfect time, but it is the perfect time. And I'm gonna be honest with you, no one's really been listening. But I've been out here with this message since 2010. I've been out here telling you guys since 2012. We have to make it about our team and not about the companies. We have to form a network and then we have to fund our network. We have to create a income for our network. And when our network is making money. Now, again, it's not about the companies as we are making money. Now we can go to a company and say, we'll push your product. We already have a network. We've built it. We got money, but we're not gonna sell your stuff unless you pay us what we tell you to pay us. But we don't have that power right, 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 right now, and we won't have it in the future if you guys don't listen. Maybe now you will. Great job, MLM. Way to bring us all under the microscope because of ego. E ego. I, I come to you and say, I've read these books. I've been trained by these mentors. I shouldn't have to tell you nothing else. But ego. You hear the mentors, oh yeah, I know such and such. Oh yeah, well I made as much money as they did in this other company and so they don't really know what they're talking about and so you must not know what you're talking about. Oh, I ain't never heard of that book. So if I ain't heard of the book, then it must not be no good. Ego, ego. Folks, stop edging God out. That's what ego stands for. 
That's what one of my first mentors taught me. And she's still making plenty of money in the industry right now today. Why? Because in that company, for the most part, they do it right. The only problem in that company, they don't pay folks enough money. And eventually, it's going to harm all of us. So it has to change, and we have to change it, or else someone's going to step in and change it for us. Thanks for, for watching. This is an important message. TopNetworkersGroup.com.